Well, hello everyone and welcome to the channel and welcome to our second video in our Yellowstone series. In today's video, we're gonna be touring Old Faithful and we're gonna be going to the visitor center there, which I was told is very nice and the Old Faithful Lodge, which everything I've seen, the Old Faithful Lodge is absolutely incredible. So we're gonna be seeing all of that today. Today's May 11th, 2024, and we're gonna go see all the big ticket items in Yellowstone early before Memorial Day weekend, because that's when the crowds get crazy in Yellowstone. So there's an advantage of us being here early and being here all summer long. And and if you saw in episode one, we went to the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone and toured that. And the reason why is the road, the main road, the most direct route for us to get to Old Faithful was closed. Now it's all open. So we're gonna probably get hit with some traffic and there's gonna be probably some crowds there, but nothing like peak season because that south entrance is officially open really great day the crowds are not going to be as big as they are during the summer and i'm going to show y'all some clips driving in from cody and they say the drive in from cody is one of the most beautiful drives that you can take in yellowstone and i gotta agree we the the drive in is amazing but enough talk we need to get on the road because we got quite a long drive ahead of us so let's go Check out Old Faithful. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, You and I We got it oh, We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard times You and I can weather any storm And we made it to Old Faithful. What an incredible drive, too. I mean, beautiful drive. I hope you guys enjoyed the road trip footage on the way up here. And it took about three, three and a half hours to get here from the Cody KOA. And that's one of the big reasons why the east entrance is not that popular of an entrance, not like West Yellowstone or the southern entrance because it takes so long to get here from cody but the good thing is it's not as busy at those entrances hayden valley is pretty close to cody and i think it's pretty close to lamar valley too so for photography staying in cody's better plus cody has got a lot of western and native american history and i didn't mind the drive it's supposedly one of the most beautiful drives in the country coming here from cody but yep takes about three three and a half hours depending on how many stops you make to you know the overlooks and wildlife there was only one wildlife stop we had on the way up here but we're gonna be checking out old faithful of course but we're also going to check out the information center and the old faithful lodge which is supposed to be absolutely beautiful uh we just got finished parking now we're gonna make our way looks like first we're gonna go ahead and go to the information center and get uh old faithful eruption predictions like when the next time is old faithful i believe erupts every 60 to 90 minutes so we're gonna go see when the next eruption is and then plan accordingly from there so let's go check out the information center and we're coming up on the Old Faithful Visitor and Education Center. There's a sign. And here's the entrance. 
and this place from what I've seen is really pretty and they got a view of Old Faithful uh, that you can see from inside but let's go inside and take a look around and see what they have in here and as we come into the visitor center there is of course a Yellowstone Forever park store with souvenirs and stuff from Yellowstone and then it looks like we have an auditorium right here and I believe they do show a little educational documentary on Old Faithful or on Yellowstone and I believe it lasts about 20 minutes let's go check out the auditorium and see if the video is playing and it sounds like the video is playing we may have to come back later and catch the whole video microscopic single cell plants that live in the water well, it looks like it's a little documentary on Yellowstone and like I said it's like 20 minutes long so we're gonna definitely watch that it looks like this is a great visitor center like for kids super educational and we're walking across the main lobby and there's a exhibition hall with different kind of educational setups or displays about I guess Yellowstone the geyser basins here's a little kind of little wildlife display with a coyote and it looks like there's a section called the young scientist section uh, so a little interactive area for kids which is super cool for the little ones to learn a little more about how everything works here the volcanic and geothermal activity under Yellowstone so the Old Faithful Visitor Center is actually a really good place for the kids and you can hear them in the background so uh, yeah this place is very family family friendly and it's educational so you guys definitely need to spend some time in the visitor center at Yellowstone and check out the little documentary or video in the auditorium and here's the view that I was telling you guys about from old that you can see old faithful that's pretty cool and of course they have a information desk with rangers working there where you can get park maps and all that but let's go outside and uh, let's, uh, take a look at Old Faithful and see what we got going on out there Well, we just saw Old Faithful were up. Uh, bucket list item checked off. That was really cool. You do get a little bit of an advance warning that it's about to go. The steam might kick up a little bit and you'll see spray starting to come out the top before the actual eruption. So, but I advise if you're shooting stills or video, go ahead and get in position and go ahead and get your focus, get everything set up your ISO get everything set up for your shot and don't move that way when it does go all you got to do is flip on your camera and hit record that way you don't have to make any adjustments because you've already pre-focused your camera and got all your settings taken care of so right now we're 
leaving Old Faithful and we're gonna go check out the Old Faithful Lodge, which is uh, another place that is absolutely beautiful from what I've seen in all the pictures and videos. And just like everything else, it's probably not gonna do it justice. So let's go head over to the lodge, which is right next to Old Faithful. And they actually have an outdoor deck that you can actually watch Old Faithful go off from. The Old Faithful Inn was designed by architect Robert C. Reamer, completed in 1904 at a cost of $140,000. This enormous wood structure with its soaring 76-foot tall lobby remains one of the largest log-style structures in the world and is a National Historic Landmark. When you visit, be sure to notice the mission-style furniture and wall-mounted candelabra lights in the lobby, the hickory chairs and chandeliers in the dining room, and the red front door with its giant lock. All of these treasures have graced the inn for more than a century. The building's foundation and enormous fireplace were constructed from rhyolite, the rock produced by Yellowstone's volcanic eruptions that now forms Yellowstone's caldera. The fireplace alone is made from 500 tons of this native stone, reportedly quarried from the nearby Black Sand Basin. Well, as we leave Old Faithful Lodge, that's going to conclude this video here and this was a great stop uh, old faithful has been a bucket list item for me to see for quite some time and it didn't disappoint it was absolutely beautiful the visitor center was really neat and very interesting wish we had more time to spend there and explore the visitor center also uh Old Faithful Lodge was absolutely incredible. The lobby there is beautiful. And again, while you're here at Old Faithful, you might as well go check out both. Check out the Visitor Center and go check out Old Faithful Lodge. It's worth your time. And Old Faithful erupts, like I said before, about every 60 to 90 minutes. And they have several signs posted around the property that let you know when it's actually gonna erupt. It's not exact, it was a little late going off when we saw it, but it gives you some warning. It'll start spitting water and steam before it actually goes off. That's it from Old Faithful. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications because there is more to come from Yellowstone National Park as we explored this beautiful area, the country's first and oldest national park the entire summer. And as we say in Louisiana, les ailes bon temps roulé. Let the good times roll. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time from Yellowstone. Bye bye now. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun